Hi Aries and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from September 21st to S September 27, 2020. I hope that you're all doing well. I'm recording this on the new moon that we have in Virgo. So I did a beautiful moon ritual for all of you that are here as well because you're last but not least uh, uh, my beautiful fire elements. <laughs> so um, first and foremost, before I start the reading, I do have to relay a message to all of you from my mom. So my mom tells you, it tells me, she wants me to tell you, sorry, that she's very flabbergasted by all the, the messages that she's been receiving and that she's overwhelmed and also very humbled by this experience because she never experienced anything like this before. And she's very grateful for each and one of you, for all the beautiful messages. She thanks you from her the bottom of her heart. And she tells me to tell you that she will keep praying for you on a daily basis here, okay? Because I do relay the messages to her on a daily basis because there's a lot of messages coming in. But she says that if you have a, a prayer re request that you would like, just write it down in the comments below, okay? And I will relay them to her and she will continue praying for you, like, like I said, on a daily basis. And uh, so we both want to thank you from our bottom of our hearts for all the you know beautiful messages and for all the love and light that you share with all of us, especially for those of you that have been with me for a very long time on my channel. Thank you for the continuous love and support that you have been giving me. And for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. And now let's get started with your reading. What I have here is my singing bowl. Yes, it's a new singing bowl. <laughs> it's huge. But I bought this for all of you here. Okay, and so if you're wearing earphones, uh, Aries, uh, just lower the earphones or just remove them. And just like you can hear from your phone because the frequency that comes out of this is very, uh, it's higher than the, the ones that I used to use before. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to clear my energy and space and I'll do the same thing for you as well as I'm a healer. I will se send you healing energy wherever it has to go. Okay. It will find its place. All you have to do is embrace it. And uh, I'll also send blessings to all of you that, that are out there as well. Okay. So let's get started with your, uh, with this little mini session that I have here for you. So now let's get started. We'll start taking out the card. Hold on a second here. Affirmation card for you of the week. So uh, let's look at your affirmation, Aries. I hope that you're all doing well. Hashtag Aries Nation. That's my logo for you, Aries. From September 21st to the 27th. What's going on here for Aries? 2020. What is your affirmation card? Okay. There we go. You got number 42, Wheel of Life. And it says here, I'm guided by the cycles of life and live in complete harmony with them. Look how beautiful this card is. So it's number 42, Wheel of Life. I am guided by the cycles of life and live in complete harmony with them. Beautiful card. Yin and Yang energy. And I just saw 444. Okay. So um, I will start with some Oracle cards. Like I said in all my videos, tarot cards are important, but Oracles are more, I find that are, they're a step higher because the, these cards come from 
from of course spirit of what of course the angels archangels it's a direct message of what you're going through and what you're going to be going towards okay um and they're also very important in the readings now uh, what i'm being shown right away for some of you is that there is a lot right now you are releasing the karmic contracts aries Okay, contracts, anything karmic, family, it could be finances, whatever it is. What's happening is karma is being removed from you and things will be starting to get into balance. Things will be starting to shifting for you. I feel that in the recent past, okay, for some of you or at this moment, it depends where you are in your journey. There was some type of, a, of rejection that took place and divine is saying that that was divine intervention that took place for you. A lot of you are following your, your purpose, your north node. Okay, there's a purpose here that some of you are like, um, why you're here. And it's okay for you to be vulnerable at this time and to hope in that heart chakra of yours, especially if you are in in the spiritual world, okay, where you're a, you're a coach, you're a, you're a guide or something like that, okay? Now, this is for Aries. Um, they're also saying that you're going to be celebrating, okay? There's some type of celebration that's coming towards you. And some of you, there was a union, Okay, hold on a second. It could be a divine union, okay, uh, or a, a twin flame union for some of you. Uh, that this person or individual that you are inquiring about, um, it leads to tantric sexuality, okay? Tantric sexuality. Something sacred. Something sacred, like sacred alchemy. Okay, let us now, let's look at the oracle cards for you from September 21st. To the 27th here. A lot of you are stuck in your fears too. Narrow pathway. Thread thoughtfully. Mm, okay. Thread thoughtfully. I'll show you the card. So there's limitations and fear also that you are surrounded by. So let's see. So a narrow, something, a narrow pathway that you're going through. And you're not seeing things very very clearly at this time okay and they want you to thread thoughtfully on the situation here you got embracing enthusiasm shout to the heavens with happiness like i said celebration is take, is going to be taking place and next card you got is begin now take your first step all right So now let's take out some cards here. I don't know which cards to use at this moment. Okay, we'll use these ones. Okay, so this reading is for Aries Sun. But anywhere that you have Aries, even if you have Chiron in your Aries, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time as well. If the reading resonates with you, Aries, claim it. Embrace it. If it doesn't, look at your ascendant sign, which is your rising moon and Venus. And by watching all three, you probably will get with the message that you're looking for if a bit resonates like let's say you watch it and just a little bit resonates with you then take that and leave the rest behind if it doesn't because i am reading for the co collective and uh so it not every message will pertain towards you then i will clarify the cards also at the end so i'm going to show you where you are right now what's crossing you what spirit wants you to focus on your recent past what's crowning you What's coming towards you, your external experiences, and also your possible future. Okay, I think the cards are ready for you, Aries. Okay, so this is for Aries from September 21st to the 27th, 2020. Let's get started. Hmm. Okay, we're 
what energy is this? I just need to take out one more card. Okay. Let me put the cards back in. Okay. Overall energy, got the King of Cups energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, someone that is emotionally available, very kind, has a lot of wisdom. This could be an energy of a person or this could be you, Aries, okay? Uh, where you are right now is the five of coins. You're feeling left out of a situation, feeling in the dark of a situation. You're lacking information. Uh, this could be just like you have help around you, but you don't want to get the help that you want. Like you don't want to get the help that's here for you. Uh, but you're feeling like left out, out of a situation. There's something that you can't figure out at this time. What's crossing you is the two of coins reversed, which means that uh, something or someone dropped you or you dropped someone, okay, in the recent past. Uh, this talks about where uh, you're not feeling at crossroads. Okay, you made a decision. It talks about you're not being pulled in two different directions here. What Spirit wants you to focus on is this two of cups energy. So there is some type of love situation here. This could be a love a love reading or it doesn't have to be it could be anything that you're that you are going through in your situation in the recent past with the ace of swords reversed it talks about not seeing something clearly feeling left out not seeing things clearly okay uh, something that you're not seeing so no communication here cutting out someone here someone got or somebody got cut off or there was a lot of anger here someone that's angry uh, not seeing something and just no communication. What's crowning you is this King of Wands energy. This could be you, Aries. Okay, as a king or queen, it doesn't matter. But as the King of Wands, you usually go after what you want. Uh, you know, uh, you, you like something, you go after it. All right. Um, what's coming towards you is the Lover's energy, Gemini. This is my twin flame card. It could be a twin flame. It doesn't have to be. It could be a lover. It could be a friend, a sister, a brother, a mother, a father. Uh, but there is some type of decision that has to be pertained here some type of decision that has to be made in the seventh position you got the wheel of fortune reversed okay jupiter energy here so uh this the wheel of fortune reversed talks about a detour there's a delay that's taking place here uh also what uh, what uh, the external influences is you got the ace of wands reversed okay uh with the ace of wands reversed and the ace of swords reversed here it talks about something that you are there's like uh, something got cut off, some type of passion got cut off, okay? Uh, with an individual, we'll see because we need to get into the reading because there's a delay here. And the seventh and the ninth position, hopes and fears, you've got the king of wands energy, someone that's not seeing th things clearly, someone that's angry. There's someone that's angry here, not seeing something clearly, not wanting to see something at this time, and anger. And with the Three of Cups reversed here, it talks about a lot of people here, not for a lot, but maybe for a small percentage of you, is that there was a some type of interference. Some of you were dealing with a third-party situation here, or one of you has walked away from a, th a third-party situation. That could also be that as well. And uh, not wanting to spend time with family and friends or, pe or co people closest to you. It could be like your friends, because some of you do not want to hear what others have to say if you have to talk about uh your your situation that that's not going to be for all of you that will pertain to a small amount of you um let's see here let's take out these cards okay let's just shuffle them a bit here um For some of you, this happened not too long ago, maybe like seven or seven months ago or eight months ago here. Uh, for others of you, maybe longer. I don't see no communication with an individual. Not seeing the situation or the bigger picture as well. If this is you or someone that you're dealing with. Okay. I think the card is ready now. Let me put the deck in three. And let's see. This is for Aries from September 21st to 27th, 2020. Let's look at the five of coins. Why is the five of coins here? Why is the five of coins here for Aries? 
What does this have to do with? Okay. The nine of swords reversed. The nine of wands upright. Okay. So in the recent past, it shows me that you were worried about a situation. It, uh, you can sleep at night with something that was always like running in your head, Aries. Okay, always. Uh, and to uh, maybe some of you left someone behind. Maybe the five of, of uh, Pentacles you're feeling left out, or have uh, not having feeling left out. Maybe is the person that you're dealing with because it could be vice versa, and it could be for the cross watchers that are watching as well. Okay, so to remove yourself from the situation where you were overthinking, you couldn't sleep at night. Okay. Uh, a lot of you released your fears, okay, by blocking someone. I do feel that someone blocked someone and cut communication off and uh, turned their back to them, okay? Whoever this is, could be you, Aries, or the person you were dealing with. Some of you were dealing with a P Pisces en energy as well. Some of you were dealing with someone that was very deceptive, okay? Um, there was a lot of illusions around you, and uh, you, you, went, you went through a, 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 a narrow pathway, Okay, you went through a pathway or something that was like not shown to you and you had to go through a passage, like a dark passage, okay? But you released something because something came to illumination for you that got you to uh, release release fear in whatever situation it was. Uh, and some of you had to block away or walk away from a situation here. This is what I see. But this is what they're telling me. Piscean energy here I have. You're going to be getting a lot of unusual dreams as well. Let's look at the two of coins reversed here. You've got the five of cups reversed. You've got, again, the two of pentacles upright and the six of pentacles. Okay. So it's, it's like back and forth for some of you. Okay. It's like some of you made the decision, whatever. Let's say you made the decision, Aries, of uh, removing someone from your past that was causing a lot of heartache or just mind games and fears and all the things that you were going through. Some of you are going back and forth on this situation. Um, you're going back and forth with the Two of Pentacles. Okay, being like, I really believe you're like, you're going back and forth in like, yes, choosing a way and then going back and forth and going back and forth in a situation here. Um, it's because you're going, it's, it's normal, you know, because you're going through the, you're going through the dark night of the soul. Some of you are still releasing karmic contracts and you're, or you're just releasing a lot of karma. Okay. And with the five of cups reversed here, it shows me that, that you are releasing. So it's normal, <clears throat> excuse me. So it's normal that you're going to feel like sometimes that you're going to feel like, uh, okay, I got this, you know, I'm not going to, you know, go back to that. And, and then there's days that you're still thinking about that person and that person is still in your heart and you're going back and forth on it. Okay. So it's very normal. Okay. But it, there's a sense to, to be grounded here. And the five of cups reverse, it shows me that you saw the silver lining of the situation and um, knowing that what everything happens for a reason. And a lot of you have passed through this dark night of the soul already. Okay. So there's you're you're going towards brighter days or and and beautiful situations that will take place for you. For some of you, there is a reconciliation that's going to take place. Now, it doesn't mean that you will go back with the person. Maybe there's going to be some type of communication where you could have closure. That could also happen for you. And you've got the Six of Pentacles. Whatever you give, you will be receiving, and things will be in balance. Because I really believe that whoever you were dealing with, whatever situation that you were dealing with in the past, it was lopsided. It was not in balance. Let's look at the Two of Cups and what Spirit wants you to focus on here. So this Two of Cups energy is a start of a relationship here or whatever it is that you're going through. Let's look at the Two of Cups energy. Why is the Two of Cups here? you got the Seven of Pentacles. So you're reevaluating something. The Two of Swords. Again, I got one, two, three, four. Two, 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 two will mean something for some of you. 22, 22. And the Ace of Cups energy and the Lovers. Okay, reversed. Okay, you got the Lovers card twice on the ground. Okay, <clears throat> some of you are reevaluating everything. How far you come, or you're just reevaluating everything about it, this individual. Okay, and um, <clears throat> with the Two of Swords energy, is that you're overthinking or overanalyzing a situation. Okay, you're overthinking, you're overanalyzing it, and you need to remove the veil to see the truth of the situation, the bigger picture, okay? And it's like some of you are at crossroads in the situation. But what they're showing me is that at this moment, some of you that are twin flames, lovers, 
wherever this person is, there's no communication at this time, there's miscommunication, misunderstanding to take place, and you're not together in the physical yet. But I do see that this individual, because this, see the twin flame journey, for those of you that are dealing with twin flame, it's not just about love. There's a mission and the twin flame journey is very, very, the hardest journey that you will have to go through. And uh, this individual, whoever it is, had to unbreak, had to open your heart. This is unconditional love to unconditional love. This is the start of a new relationship here. Sacred love, true love that's here. So this is what they want you to focus on, okay? So now let's look at this Ace of Swords reversed here. Why is this Ace of Swords reversed? Dark cards. Too many cards here. Okay, why is the Ace of Swords reversed? Oh, okay. The Ace of Wands. The Death card. The King of Swords again reversed. The King of Pentacles reversed and the Page of Swords reversed. Okay. Well, whether it's you or the other person, right now there's in the recent past there's no communication. Someone is blocking communication. You're blocked through social media, whoever this person is that's blocking who. And you're blocked also on a phone number. So this person cannot reach you. Okay, whatever, or you can reach them because there is a blockage here. There is a healing and a blessing that will be taking place. This is when Jupiter goes into Aquarius, and this could be in the month of December for some of you. Um, there's also faith being restored. So whatever that you have to go through, the whatever that you're working on, if you are working on yourself, because I do feel that you have worked on yourself. There's a heal. There's it's like everything. It's like now you're restoring yourself, right? And there's passion within you. Okay. Some type of passion within you. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius energy here. But there's passion restored. Whether it's in a relationship. Whether it's in with yourself. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio energy. Uh, this could also take place in October and November of 2020. There's a huge transformation that will be taking place. A death and rebirth in a relationship in a twin flame journey. The person you're dealing with, Aries, is someone that is at this moment. They could be angry. Or you could be angry. Because, you know, you are mirroring your, each other. <laughs> someone that's not communicating. Someone that's not seeing the whole picture here. Someone that's also unstable. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy. Some Again, with the Page of Swords reversed, there's no communication whatsoever at all. Okay? This is a person that's not seeing something. Whether it's you or it's them, something is not being seen here. And now, let's look at um, the... the King of Wands energy. That's what's crowning you. This could be your energy. Or the in, okay. So you're going after what you want. Let's see what this is. Very strong masculine energy here. You could also be a woman with this type of energy as well. What is the King of Wands energy all about? Judgment. The Three of Wands, the Elephant Reversed, the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you gave up on a situation. Okay, now, there is some type of judgment that has to take place here. This is what's crowning you. You're going to have to make a decision. Some of you are waiting for someone to return, especially if they, if they blocked you. Okay, or these people, or the person that you're dealing with is waiting for you. There is a waiting period to here. But there is a judgment call for some of you. Okay, and something that you put a lot of work into. You put a lot of work into into this situation, whatever, whatever situation it is here. It also tells me that in three days or three weeks or three months from now, your ships are coming in. Okay, uh, whatever it is that you've been longing for is coming towards you. Um, you put a lot of work into this situation, whatever it is, but the the new paradigm is not taking place. The shift is not taking place here. The shift that you want is not taking place at this moment, okay? Because uh, there is some type of delay that's taking place. Now, let's look at... Um, I'm going to take out one more card for the Aerophant Reverse. Someone is not going within... I don't know. Okay, let's look at the Aerophant Reverse here. Give me one more card. Not 300 cards. Yeah, okay. They had to show me this. Okay, good. Okay. Right now, whoever you're dealing with, whether it's uh, you or the individual, okay, there's not a paradigm shift that's taking place here. There's not a new 
paradigm shift or that's taking place here. Something is not right now successful in the way that you want. And a lot of you are wanting to give up on a situation because there is going to be... <laughs> Some of you are at crossroads right now. You need to drop something to move forward. The Wheel of Fortune is here. Jupiter coming in to help you. Yeah, see, Jupiter is here. That's crowning. You got Jupiter twice here. Because there's just like I, there's a pull back and forth that situation. It's talking about destiny and fate. Something destined. It's fated to come your way. Sagittarian energy. Jupiter is here. Um, helping you. Something is fated with this Ten of Cups energy. Of this beautiful relationship. New emotions taking place. Let's look at the lovers, what's coming towards you. There's a soulmate here. I feel, and this is going on right now for everybody on the collective, mostly everybody, not everybody, but most. A lot of people are trying to leave a, a twin flame behind and they manifested a soulmate and then they're going to have to choose between two people. It doesn't have to be that, but most of it is like that. Okay, or uh, it's a situation here. There's a content and being happy, um, a soulmate energy. You got the Ace of Swords upright, communication, the Eight of Swords reversed, the Nine of Cups reversed. Something is coming true to you for you. Uh, for some of you, there, you will have to make a decision. Okay, um, so divine is coming in to give you clarity on a situation that you couldn't see. You can see through your visions and and dreams, premonitions. Okay, um, it's also about communication. It could be with a Gemini, or this lover energy. There is going to be communication coming in the near future for you. Okay, you're not going to feel stuck, or they're not going to feel stuck in a situation anymore. And with the Nine of Cups reversed, talks about dreams coming true. Let's look at the Wheel of Fortune reversed here in the seventh position. Right now, there is a delay because there's a delay because someone's blocking someone here. You've got the chariot. Some of you are dealing with a cancer. Sagittarian energy, someone that moved away very quickly from the situation. The magician reversed, the seven of wands reversed. Some of you were dealing with a manipulator here. There was some type of, I mean, if it's not manipulated, you were dealing with someone that was manipulating something here. Okay, and at uh, that time, uh, you, you, some of you couldn't go through the situation. It was too hard on you. That's why you, some of you here had to block someone, like really block someone. You like, it's done, okay? And you decided to move forward and take control. Let's see the external influences of the Ace of Wands reversed. Why is this eight? Okay. <laughs> the cards went flying. I have to get borders over here that they don't keep falling. <laughs> okay. Why is this Ace of Wands reversed here? Is there another card? Too many cards. One, one more card because I think two of them fell to the ground. Okay, here we go. There we go. Uh huh. Okay. Oh boy. All right, a glass just broke under my feet, but I have, I'm wearing slippers, don't worry. I just broke something here for someone, or for all of you Aries, for a glass to break when I'm doing my reading and never takes place, ever, okay? So I did break some type of spell that some of you had on you. Something took place here, I had to clear, and it's okay. Whatever that broke, I will clean it up after. So whatever the external influences is, Ace of Wands reversed, there is um, some type of, uh, of uh, with the Four of Cups, it talks about spirit or there's going to be an offer here. There's an offer here. Some of you are not interested in this offer whatsoever. You don't want to see it. You're daydreaming, but you're also missing the other person. You're thinking about the person in your past. Whatever, whatever that you were going through. Okay, some of you are dealing with a Virgo energy. For some of you also, there's no more passion with this Virgo energy. 
and you're thinking about something else. It's like you're daydreaming. But whatever the case is, this is about uh, Christ consciousness. It's about consciousness, about you going within, about finding, going within, following your own path, reflection. It's about meditating and listening to your intuition. So you're going through this right now. And the Ten of Pentacles talks about you have a strong foundation here. Okay, so this is coming towards you. This could be an, uh, it could be someone that is a Virgo energy that's coming towards you. Unexpected money, happiness in a home, in business, whatever it is, it took place. Now let's look at this King of Swords energy. For some of you, I do see now. Nah, this is not pertaining to all of you, but there is uh, there is this percentage of you that um, uh, that there's going to be a. Some of you are going to be going through a divorce because with the Three of Cups reverse. They're telling me that there was intervention or a third-party situation. Someone was married. Someone was married here, and um, or is still married. And but there, there. I don't know. I do. You know. I don't know. For some of you, there have there will be a decision in leaving someone behind. Okay. Look at the. Let's look at the King of Swords reversed here in the ninth position someone being angry no communication you've got the five of pentacles you've got temperance someone that uh, did not take time to okay Sagittarian energy here Patience is a virtue. Someone did not take time to reevaluate something. They just did, right? They did something irrational because there was some type of balance that was needed. There was, the, something was off balance. Someone was feeling left out in the dark, okay? Abandoned. Maybe the person you're dealing with is feeling that way or you're feeling that way. And by the way, it shows me here that one of you is working on yourself, okay? So I do see that someone's working on the your abandonment issues here. And you're doing great. Let's look at the Three of Cups reversed. Let's look at the Three of Cups reversed. What is this all about? Three of Cups reversed. The Seven of Cups, the Tower card, the King of Wands reversed. The Ace of Pentacles reversed. Okay, well, there is a Tower moment that will take place. Divine Intervention. There's a lot of confusion here in a situation. Okay, a lot of confusion, a lot in your mind. Okay, not seeing something. Um, talks about there's a need to ground. Okay, someone is humbling themselves. This King of Wands energy, Leo of Sagittarius, or you, Aries, it could be you. Sense of humbling themselves is taking place. Something that is, uh, you know, the Tower card is coming in. Okay, divine intervention is taking place here. This is the Mars energy, maybe Mars energy. This is Mars energy. Uh, in Aries right now, it's in retrograde. Something took place here and something that is unstable. There's something unstable. Okay, I'm just going to ask for a couple more cards on this. Let's clarify the tower. What is the tower? Why is the tower here? Let's clarify the tower, please, for Aries. Yeah. Devil reversed, usually Capricorn energy. This is Saturn also coming in at you with a lot of lessons. This is about uh, releasing fears, unhealthy situations, whatever that you've been bonded to or addictions. There's some type of freedom here for someone that you're bonded. This is also divorce that's taking place for some of you for this Two of Cups to come in. Okay, there's a Two of Cups energy here. Some type of freedom. Also, it, it's also karmic freedom is what they're telling me for some of you. Now let's look at this King of Cups energy here. What is this King of Cups all about? I got the Five of Wands reversed, the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy here. Someone that's laid back. The Knight of Wands. The Ten in the new beginning, okay. The Empress energy. Taurus Libra, someone that is a death rebirth, new opportunities taking place here for you. Uh, a lot of great ideas, you know, very, very much laid back, very confident, very open to love, unconditional love here. Uh, 
where once there was no focus, you are in focus. It's an ending that's taking place in your life where you've been carrying a lot of your, on your shoulders. And uh, it's like a new flight is taking place for you. You know, there's a new beginning where you're feeling optimistic. Uh, you're feeling happy again. Uh, you want to explore. You want to go out there. It's like your divine feminine is just like overglow. It's overflowing here. Okay. And underneath the deck, you got the three uh, pentacles, which talks about a strong foundation. Where this is business, an opportunity for you. There is a strong foundation here. Yeah, there is a very strong foundation. Okay. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading, my beautiful Aries. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Know that I have your back and that I love you. And I will see you next week. Bye.